Sunday's Daytona 500. And I think the cat and mouse game will be which group goes first because you really, I think, want to be in that second group, that second wave. Now look how they're all laying back there and uh, surprised into it. Now you heard from Ricky no, Calarola and Ricky Stenhouse. The good news for them is their speeds in round one were the two fastest times of the day. So they would be assured a spot in the 500 field. Your thoughts on these first two rounds? It's just, uh, it might be frustrating for the drivers, but I'm going to tell you what, the, the show is amazing. <laughs> to be out there in the middle of all that and fill the draft, I had a great run. My spotter, Brett Griffin, told me to move up. Kyle was coming. That was the right call. It pushed us to the start-finish line, and uh, we got in a really good time for our car. A lot of things can go wrong when you qualify like this, as we saw in that first session with uh, Clint Boyer. But for the fans, I think a lot of things go, a lot of things go right, because it's fun to watch, and crazy to be a part of. So Michael Clark said 22nd, he will start 11th in his dual race on Thursday. You see, Denny Hamlin and Matt Kenseth, they're all the way at the end of pit road, sitting there side by side. Their Toyota teammates from Joe Gibbs Racing, Carl Edwards and Kyle Busch, they're all the way down toward the latter part. There they are, way back there. So um, this is going to be interesting. You see, now we're almost down to three minutes. You see, I think, Larry, in this session, it's almost like every man for himself. Look, you, you, you work your plan, we'll work ours. Apparently, the 11 and 20, they're going to work together. And the 18 and the 19, maybe they plan on working together or with somebody else back there. J.B., how about the damage on Martin Truex's car? Well, I just talked to his crew chief, Cole Hearn, and he said that that damage on the right side happened on his fastest lap. So he said, imagine how much quicker we even could have gone. But uh, I said, are you worried about this last round? He said, it's not shaped perfectly. We should be okay. It's just going to look pretty in victory lane. All right. Meanwhile, in the trading pit, up atop the spotter stand, deals being made, plans being made. But remember, in round two, the three fastest cars were from three different teams and two different manufacturers. Yeah. Let's keep an eye on this right here. We're already halfway through round three. This group definitely look at it only one, one to two laps. I, I think one lap. I, I think just what we saw in that the last session, you get one fast lap, you don't want somebody sucking up on you and helping them. This is like watching. Three minutes, I'll tell you, I need three minutes, I need to get the guys to go. Dude, I don't get a little bit back there. I'm not going to get a little bit back there. It's an old Western movie. Gunfighters, itchy trigger fingers, booming birds. You were going to go. That's the plan, Larry. You don't want to help the other guys. So you go as your group, you get grouped up, you go as a group, and you hope you don't have any other guys. We can't really check up.
number 500 is going to come. Oh, that thing moves into catbirds. Because yeah. they got three cars in front of them, and they're coming up on the back of them pretty quick. That group should put down the fast lap. As long as they don't start slicing and dicing through three and four. Oh, I think they got it. I think they know they're in the best car right now. Just stay right there, draft up on the cars in front of you, and you're going to have a pretty quick turn here, I would say. Just look how quick they're pulling up on those three drivers in front of them. But, and, and it's really quite, it's almost perfect. It's almost perfect the way they timed that out. Those guys did. Good job. True action. Kane, Hamlin, Gordon. Gordon Johnson. How about that? <laughs> Jeff Gordon. <laughs> This will be his final season. He was emphatic last week, saying this will be his final Daytona Speed Weeks. And it started the 500 from the ball. How about that? You can't make this stuff up, guys. I'm just telling you, you really can. 